A family wants answers after their loved one's body was found days after they first reported him missing. High Point police say 33 year old Eric Morrison Jr. of High Point lost control of his car on I-74 Saturday night, crashing into a guardrail near Johnson Street and dying on impact. Investigators say his body was found at the bottom of the steep embankment where the crash took place days later on Wednesday, but his family says they believe there's more to their loved one's death and they wonder why it took four days for someone to discover his body there. Eric has, has always been a very humble spirit. Uh, very quiet. Everybody knew him as lovable, you know, just always stayed to himself. He was a good person. The family of 33 year old Eric Morrison Jr. left now with more questions than answers following his death. A lot of things that just don't make sense. And like I said, we just want some answers as to what really happened that night. According to High Point Police, Morrison lost control of a car on I-74 Saturday night, crashing into a guardrail and being ejected from the vehicle. Investigators say minutes before the accident, officers responded to a hit and run crash at Wendover Avenue and Penny Road involving Morrison's car. His family says he had last been seen leaving the kickback jacks on Penny Road. He's the type of person that would do the right thing. And especially in something like this, we know he would have done the right thing. And it's just not making a lot of sense as to what's going on. Because they had to wait 24 hours, Morrison's family had reported him missing Monday and initiated a search. We ended up deciding, you know, we was going to take matters in our hands because we haven't had got any feedback. We hadn't got any feedback from any police or anything. Later in the day, the family says two of his friends found his body at the bottom of this steep embankment, about 25 feet down and about 75 feet away from where the guardrail was hit. Police say the car had traveled an additional 250 feet up the exit ramp after he was ejected. I want to see footage if it was even him at the ve in the vehicle. Yeah. Was there somebody else in the vehicle? And if that's um, uh, or, or some was somebody chasing him? Why was the back windshield out? Did they see the glass anywhere at the scene? Police say Morrison was found dead with a substantial head injury, but family members question why it took several days to discover his body at the crash site. You gonna come out here uh, in an accident and you can't even look over the embankment at the particular time and find a body that's gonna take four days later for you to find them? Something ain't right with that. And late this afternoon, police did tell us the reason they didn't see Morrison's body initially is because they thought they were searching for a hit and run suspect and not a car crash victim. We have asked High Point Police if they believe any foul play is suspected and also about any surveillance video they might be able to provide from kickback jacks that night. We were told since this is an ongoing crash investigation, they can't give us any additional details at this time. And when we questioned them about the canine search, we were told there was nothing to lead the canines down that embankment.